Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 18th episode of YLC Chats. Today, we have another exciting episode with Kyle Cutler from Palm Beach, Florida. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, Margo, do you want to ask Kyle the first couple of questions? Sure, I can. Hi, Kyle. I'm Margo. Hi. Um, So my first question for you is, how did you become involved in Best Buddies? And how long have you been involved? So I got involved in Best Buddies um, through my high school. Um, I began volunteering with the um, the IDD department at my high school, Sumner Ridge Community High School, um, in their muffin and coffee business that they would do in the morning for to fundraise for the department. And so I would volunteer with them, and you know I would help um, hand out the muffins and deliver the coffee to different classrooms. And I did that. Um, near the end I did that starting in March of my ninth grade year and I did that um until the end of my ninth grade year because uh, I know because that's when they told me about best buddies and they said they wanted me to join best buddies but it was pretty much too late in the year so but I still went to the last best buddy social um during my ninth grade year which was a like a farewell party for the seniors and then <clears throat> the beginning of 10th grade year, the first thing I did was um, I emailed the sponsor, how do I join Bus Buddies? And then it was pretty busy, that was pretty busy 10th grade year, so I couldn't do the muffin and coffee business anymore. But um, I still joined Best Buddies and I was just, I was very, um, I was very involved. I joined Best Buddies as a historian, um, the historian for the um, chapter because the teacher knew me and she knew that like, I was volunteering with her students. And so as soon as I joined, they promoted me to a historian. So while I was a historian, um, I was under the um, chapter president, Ava, um, Ava, I forgot her name, Ava Needler. And she was the previous chapter president for um, Summoner Ridge Community High School. And I worked very closely with her, even though I was pretty much the lowest of the officer rankings. I still was very, very involved, and I was always like, you know, kind of like with her, and um, you know, talking about best buddies and planning stuff out. I was visiting the sponsors' room every day after school. I mean, not every day before lunch um, with her to talk about best buddies. And so, near the middle of the, um, in the beginning of tenth grade year the advisor she left and then we got our new advisor um i want to advisor miss sullivan and she's the current sponsor for the club so i was there every single day and then near the middle of the year ava unexpectedly had to leave because her father got a new job down south and so um basically because of my involvement and my commitment to best buddies she chose me as the to be the um the chapter president because I was the most involved. Um, So Kyle, my next question for you would be, um, so what Best Buddies programs or programs are you involved in? Um, I'm involved in, I'm only involved in the Best Buddies program at my school. Um, I don't know, Friendship Walk counts, I'm involved in Friendship Walk, but that's Best Buddies. Um, I'm not involved in any other Best Buddies programs, just um, my school. How do you feel that Best Buddies has made you a better advocate for yourself and others? Um, Best Buddies really showed me how to express my, um, Best Buddies really showed me how to express kind of like my heart toward people with disabilities um, because I was always unsure of how to express it because, you know, um, you know, in middle school, everybody kind of thought it was like, you know, they were weird. Um, but I was always like the one in, in the back of my mind, like, no, they're not, they're not weird. Um, and I just didn't know how to um, kind of like put that into words and kind of put that into actions. So in high school, when I, you know, I kind of like did my volunteering with a ninth grade, didn't really tell anybody. I just kind of did it. Um, and then I discovered like a whole community of like-minded people. And then that's how I became um, in Best Buddies. So I definitely believe that it has made me an advocate inclusion for the people with disabilities because I'm now able to speak my mind and show people what I really care about. What is your favorite thing about Best Buddies? How happy it makes um, the students with disabilities, like our buddies, how, how happy it makes our buddies and how they're able to know that they have a friend and they have someone to talk to because, you know, 
a lot of our buddies um, in school, I don't know how they would be able to, I don't know where they would be, um, you know, in terms socially, if they didn't have their buddies to be able to call during the weekends or talk to or sit with at lunch. And so um, I, my favorite thing is just the impact it has on our buddies and also the impact, just the impact it has on our members in general, because um, I feel like some of our members, they join Best Buddies really unsure. And then once they continue, they really like, like me, they're, they're like, they, they see that part of themselves that cares for people with disabilities kind of open up and blossom. Um, and then they're able to take that and apply it, um, apply it in our club and be able to really express themselves in terms of how caring they are. Um, and so I just really like how Best Buddies impacts and transforms people into better versions of themselves. Um, buddies and peer buddies alike. What does being an advocate mean to you? Being an advocate means standing up for what you believe in and being able to freely express what you believe in um, without any limitations, just being able to kind of just say what you're thinking, um, but in terms of what you believe in. So it's kind of, it can be hard to be an advocate for some people because they're unsure of how to do this. But once you are sure how to do it, I think it's an amazing um, thing to be because you're able to show, you're able to spread a message, you're able to show people what you believe in and spread this message to other people and hopefully inspire them to spread the same message. What are you an advocate for? Um, inclusion. So um, I'm an advocate for inclusion for people with disabilities, um, for disability rights. Um, and I just try and, you know, whoever I meet, if we ever, if we end up talking about best buddies, that those same principles, I try and share with them. And I try and show them how important they actually are to the world around us. What ins inspires you to advocate for those causes? Now I know exactly what inspires me. What inspires me is seeing the smiles of the buddies' faces whenever we, you know, do something fun for them or helping them with, um, you know, helping them with coping skills or helping them, you know, try um, being a mentor for them. Um, you know, that stuff is what inspires me now and keeps me going. And also my members, um, my peer buddies keep me going because it shows them how, you know, important it is to be a friend to someone with disabilities. What are some changes you would like to see in our country in regards to the areas that uh, you advocate for? Just stopping the stigma of people with disabilities being considered weird or um, abnormal because, you know, it's just scientifically, you know, yes, they were born with abnormalities, but it doesn't make them feel or you know it doesn't make them any different you shouldn't treat them any differently um like you you shouldn't treat them any differently than you treat a friend or you treat another human being i mean it's already known we already know that they're that physically or mentally they may not be the same as us but that doesn't stop that that shouldn't stop people from treating them like you treat your friend or your best friend or a stranger or helping someone out yes that's that's one change that i think we should need to make in our country another change is um the r word we did a whole campaign at our school um called spread the word it, it's it's spread the word to end the word but we did it um at our school and it was called spread the word week and so what we did is we had a week um of fun activities to kind of educate the school about the r word um and show why it's hurtful and how it can, you know, affect people with disabilities in a negative way. Um, we made a video with some of our buddies. I'm not sure if you if you look on um, the Best Buddies Instagram. I'm sorry, not the Best Buddies Instagram. Our um, chapters Instagram. You can see that video. Um, we did different activities. What can people watching this video do to help support uh, what you talked about uh, today? Um, what people can take away from this video is to, number one, treat, treat people with disabilities as, you know, human, because in the end, we're all human, you know, even though you know, some people 
people without a leg or some people are born with disabilities, mental disabilities, or some people are born you know, without certain body parts. Um, even some people are different skin colors, different races, you know, just treat people as human. And then I feel like when that happens, all the problems in the world will be solved. Um, I even believe, you know, war will be solved, discrimination will be solved, many problems will be solved if people just saw the other guy or other girl as a human. Definitely. Thank you so much, Kyle, for being on. We loved hearing yeah. everything you had to say, yeah, and we'll make sure to link your chapter social media in the description below so everyone right. can check out the videos you talked about and everything. But this has been the 18th episode of YLC Chats, and we'll see everybody next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.